Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, I wanted to look at some additional stuff from the update. We've got the new beast. Uh, we've got the new VIP rewards, which yes, free to play do get some stuff out of the uh, the VIP rewards. Uh, and also we have the dolly text to take a look at, at a sneak peek at the next hero. So uh, the first one, uh, maybe we'll go to, through the two quick things first. We'll look at the VIP rewards first, then we'll look at dolly, and then we'll take a look at the new beast and talk a bit about it because th they did their official AFK Arena patch spotlight video, which gave us some more info on the way the free baits that we get used to get during when new beast came uh on how they work so i'll do my best to explain that as well so uh the first thing being the vip rewards now i'm just looking at this from level 10 level 10 is i i, I believe you can get further than level 10 free to play possibly but you know I mean, my free-to-play account's doing all right, and I'm at VIP 10, so I figured 10's a safe place to look at. Now, the new things that I could see in here compared to a global server account, which I have opened in another window, but, you know, I'm not going to put it up. It is what it is. Uh, basically, the number of resonating crystal slots plus two is a new thing, and the max hero slots is now 85 at VIP 10, whereas uh, VIP 10 previously on the global server at the moment, it's 50. So it's an additional 35 hero slots, which isn't too bad by the time you reach VIP 10 as free to play. Now I'm sure those, those do come, as you can see, it's 75 here at VIP 9, 65 here, 55 here. So honestly, like being at VIP 7, you're also already beating out the original VIP 10 which like I said, these are obtainable for free to play. This is not just a paid thing. So it's quite nice to get those additional slots. There was something else in the patch notes. I didn't see any other differences at VIP 10. So the other differences may uh, occur once you get into the higher VIP range, but yeah, I'm not too stressed on that at the moment, but that is the VIP changes. So next up, we're gonna look at Dolly, see what her text is, see if I don't go too far past it. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, d d d this one? No. I heard that someone saw new shoots growing from the dead trees near whatever it is, Bay, Sh Shrieky Bay. Uh, I think uh, only that lady is capable of doing that. Now, this is just me from playing AFK2 Journey, the new AFK game on which I was playing on the other channel. Uh, the, the beta has since closed, but in there, there was like, I, I don't know whether it's like, I, I didn't read the story or anything, but it looked like Arden's wife or something. It, like the chick just looked like a female version of Arden. That's going to be my guess. I have no idea. Uh, but I just feel like this character from AFK 2 that looked like a female version of Arden, I, that, that's the best bet I've got. It's the only thing that stuck in my head when I read that text. So that's what I'm going to stick to. Anyway, uh, we, we will see what happens. I don't actually have a picture of it. I didn't take a screenshot of it when I was doing the questing part in the game with her in it. So those who played AFK 2, you know who I'm talking about. So that'll do us there. Now moving on to the beast. Now, the first thing I want to mention is AFK Arena, they put up the uh, an official patch video on their channel which I just watched. Um, and as you guys know, when we got the winged lion in, we, we got in the, we got the seven days, whoa, look at my mail. We got the seven days worth of, um, uh, you know, a hundred baits per day for the seven days. Now, what they've said is that because the new beast uh, is the, is a like, uh, what family, did, did they even state it in here? But they state the family. So as you can tell, like uh, the, the fire breather and the polar beast are in the same sort of family because, you know, like the same similar design. Now the rock crown lizard and the blade ridge are in the same family of beasts because, you know, they're the same design. They're just different types. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe that better, but they, you can see they look identical. They're just different sort of appearances and stuff. So it's only when we get a new family, like the winged lion was definitely a new family. Um, it's only when we get a new family that we get the 100 per day is the way I understood it. So that's why we won't be getting the 100 every day for seven days with this new beast. It has to be a new family. So that just the info that I gathered from that. Also, I gathered from Sunny on the official AFK Arena one that if you piss this guy off, he'll headbutt you, even though he's pretty docile. I found that quite funny if you've watched the video. But um, let's jump into this guy. I think this guy looks pretty decent, to be honest. Uh, I, I, do, I do think his skills are nice. He gets the energy at the start, which is very similar to Grassy Orb's uh, ability too. Uh, so if we, if we check here and we'll go through all the skills individually, but yeah, he gets extra energy at the start. So I, I feel like he could have some good use. Like at the start of battle, the rock round lizard is full beast energy. So he uses his ability instantly. 
Let's just, let's go through all the skills. Let's expand it. Let's look at the bigger version of the skills and we'll go through him. I think this one's going to be quite nice. As always with these guys, I like to think of them at level six though, because they're so hard to get past that. Level 12, maybe you can eventually one day get to, uh, but level 18 is just like giga whale territory and most people aren't going to worry about. So le the level six is where you got to try and find some use. Level 12, I think is where this guy gets really good, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, uh, still a bit sick and struggling to speak. Let's get into it. The Rock Crown Lizard channels the energy of the rocks and opens a guarding shield in the allied side of the battlefield for seven seconds. It reminds me of like, um, it's kind of like Sophia, that, that type of size thing. Uh, the shield absorbs 50% of damage received by an allied hero within the shield. The max, it's like, it's not too bad. 50% of the damage, it's not too bad. The maximum damage, maximum damage get, uh, that, that born, what the, ma ma <laughs> Jesus Christ, I fucking suck at reading at the moment. The maximum damage that can be borne by the shield is 120% of Rock Crown Lizard's max health. So once again, at end game, I think this is gonna fall off because it's not gonna d absorb that much damage, but we'll have to wait and see. The shield will end early if the maximum born damage is exceeded, but will last at least two seconds. So if this is where I'm not too sure how it works, if the two seconds is guaranteed to absorb 50% of everything, because even if it goes over, it doesn't matter, then that's nice. It gives you like a straight two seconds of pretty decent survivability, but we'll have to see how that works. When an allied hero suffers damage in the allied side of the battlefield, the rock crown lizard gains additional beast energy. Not too bad. Then, so that, that's like the main effect uh, that we're gonna be looking at from this guy for most players. Getting him to six is probably like, you know, what most people can hope for in the midterm. But then level 12, at the start of battle, the rock crown lizard is full of beast energy. This is where I think he gets more viability because, you know, he can use it straight at the start. You get that instant mitigation, kind of like having like a uh, Merlin in the team kind of, kind of vibe. Okay, when the shield ends, the beast deals beast damage equal to 250% of its attack rating to all enemies within the shield and strikes them back a certain distance into the enemy side of the battlefield. The one enemy hero closest at the front receives additional damage equal to 20% of their max health, which isn't too bad, and are stunned for three seconds. The additional damage will not exceed 20% of the rock crown lizard's max health for five seconds. Oh, sorry, sorry health full stop for five seconds the attack rating of the hit enemies is reduced by 30 percent honestly this level 12 it, like it offers a lot to the ability like i said the big thing is starting with full energy and then at level 18 if an enemy has a shield within the guardian the guarding shield their shield value will be weakened by 10 percent of their max health per second with the lost shield value per second not exceeding 10 percent of the rock crown lizard's max health any shield value lost increases the guarding shield's maximum born damage by an equal amount. <sighs> Got there. Basically, that's saying enemies with shields inside your side of the battlefield while this thing's up, they're going to lose their shield and his mitigation is going to get greater. That's essentially it. Honestly, I think it's a decent beast. Uh, I just think this beasts are coming way too fast and hard for most people to really care about them. To be honest, you're not even going to get to level six any quick, if, especially if you're free to play. So, you know, this is just something to consider in the future. Just wait. So honestly, 90% of players don't really care about beasts at this stage. I don't think just because we, it, it's impossible to get them to a point of being viable free to play. So that's sort of where we're at. I think he's good for whales, yippee. Uh, for everyone else, you're just going to have to wait. Uh, it is essentially the way I'm seeing this play out. I feel like beasts are that thing where in about three months, then we're going to be able to feel like maybe free to players, play players will have more options on being able to do stuff with them. Uh, at this stage, I, I still kind of think for free to play, the play is get the three little guys maxed out, maybe get one or two of these guys to level, uh, to level six and then just save, then just save, 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 save. And then once they've finish doing their i think what do we say like over 10 10 patches they're gonna have one every patch uh I, I can't remember what it was but once they once they start slowing down the beast productions that's when you go okay i've saved for 
X amount of weeks. Now this is the be these are the best ones that I want to put on my wish list and go for it to get them to level 12. I think for most free-to-play players, level 12 would be the max you'd set your sights on for a beast before moving to the others. Level level 18 is just it, it's a crazy investment. So that is the way I would play personally. Get these three maxed. Maybe two of these are guys up to level six, uh, just to unlock their ability. And then that's it. Just just cut off. So if we if we look over here on my free-to-play account, for instance, I got this guy to level six. Once I get one of these two to level six, I think I'm pretty much done. Obviously, I still need to do some more pulls to get these guys up to level 18 as well. But once I get these guys to 18, yeah, I'm pretty much done from there. And then I'll just keep holding on to all my uh, thingy and bobs, which I haven't at the moment. Don't judge me. But uh, but yeah, hold on to the spices. And I think saving is going to be the way to play once you've got enough to put into all your teams. Anyway, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.